Hello and welcome back again to this week's edition of Soccer Betting News Video. I'm your host, Ayanda Vezi, and with me is Dash Patap. He's back. Dash, how's it, bro? Hi, Ayanda. Hi, SPN viewers. Yeah, let's get straight into it, brother. Uh, transfer news, PSL. Let's talk about the LMS, the major soccer league. It seems like those teams from United States, they show interest in South African uh, youngsters. Uh, Oluwe Tumakanya from Stellenbosch has joined uh, Philadelphia. What's your take on that? Yeah, you know, the man has absolutely found the back of the net. He's hit the ground running in Philadelphia and you can see by his goal output. I, for one, am very excited to see a South African mm. flying his trade overseas and not only doing that, but excelling in his role. You know, you look at another um, player in Njabula Blom, the midfielder. Mm. You know, he's moved on to uh, MLS as well. He swapped um, arguably, arguably the biggest club in the country in Kaiser yeah. Chiefs for uh, greener pastures. And, you know, it's it just fills me with a sense of optimism that um, these European, these these American clubs and possibly even European clubs are looking at players in our country. Mm. And there's also a player there uh, who went there before uh, Njabula Blom went there and he's scoring like week in, week out for mm -hmm. his side there. Speaking about uh, Oluwe Tumakanya making his move to LMS, um, the, the player, uh, he was also show Sundowns were also negotiating with him. Then he came to say, no, I, I didn't choose Sundowns because I looked at my age and then I said, look, for me to go to United States, chances of me to go into Europe are high. Yeah. So, do you see the players like Bona or Blom and or Bolshungane, even including uh, you know Ole Tumakanya, going to play in Europe in the future? Hundred percent. The MLS has attracted some insane talent. You look at Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets. They just announced that they are signing with um, Inter Inter Miami. Yeah. Obviously, that club being owned by um, David Beckham, um, and there's other big names that have played uh, in the MLS previously. Look yeah. at Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Wayne Gonzalo, Rooney. Wayne Rooney, Gonzalo Higuain. Mm. So you'll come ag across these top players, and you never know what could happen if you, you know, defend a one v one against them, or possibly even score a belt off a goal against um, one of the top notch keepers. Mm. Um, so I think again, it it raises the bar, raises the talent. You know, there's lots to play for in the MLS, mm. and um, you know that that. Um, club is is expanding. That football league is expanding. So I think it's a great move. I think as long as the players are happy, they get regular game time and they can prove themselves. Why not? And I think it's a good move for the players to move to that league because Messi is there, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And you know that uh, wherever there is Messi, always mm -hmm. the viewership is exactly. high. Wherever there is Ronaldo, the viewership is high. So the chances of them moving to Europe are high. Yeah. Also, Keisha Smailula, he's also linked with the move to 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 United States. He's not part of the Sundowns team that he's currently preparing for the mm. preseason of which the deal is almost like done. Mm. Good move for him, like it is like first season at the club. Yeah. Is it a good move for him to move now or does he still need to be like uh, matured enough to go to play oh, abroad? Look, he's, he's one of the country's hottest prospects. You know, you look at his age, I think he's 21. And he won the player, young player of the season. Exactly, that just goes to show that, you know, the PSL, it's in their best interest to try and keep him, you know. And the same can be said for Sundowns. They want to keep and retain their best um, players. And he has shown that he can actually compete with PJ Shalouli in the same team for goals. And he's not even in a, in a central striking berth. He's on, he's on, a, on a wing. And um, mm. I think if he, if he continues his um, development, he could be one of the country's uh, best players, you know, that we have seen in years. Yeah, what does this mean for our national team? Because, like, I think it's been a very long time since we last saw uh, South Africa exporting players. Mm. What does this mean for our country? Especially now that we're preparing for the 2026 uh, FIFA World Cup, mm. seeing young players going abroad. Yeah, you look at um, Mailula and as well, players in that Sundance Academy, you know, you look at the youth, they will look up to him. A player by the age of 21 mm. has secured a move abroad and not only to, to um, any league, but the MLS where, as you mentioned, the viewership will be higher. Um, Sundance has released a statement saying that they support his move to um, America. Yeah. You know, that, that again tells me it's a statement of intent from the club to back um, back Mailula and, you know, really put the imprint on him and give him um, you know, the keys to his career, basically. You know, they mm. want to wish him well. 
And you know, if he has uh, seen the MLS as his next step, they want to help him get there. I think for him, it's a great move. Maybe the timing might not be the best, but you know, footballer's career isn't isn't that long. And you know, you literally one injury away from heartbreak. So um, I, I hope everything uh, works out for him. I'm, I'm sure he's got the backing of um, the Motsepe family, you know? Mm. And um, yeah, I'm very excited for him. Well, you said something very important about uh, the timing. Maybe it's not good. There is another player who moved from Super Sport to join Mamelodi Sundowns, mm. Tapelo Masego. Some people are saying he made a wrong move by going to Sundowns at that age. He's 19, he's turning 20 uh, later this year. He's 19 and there was also an interest from a club in Belgium. Was Did he make a right decision by joining Sundowns or he was supposed to go and join uh, the club from Belgium? Well, look, it's uh, without a doubt, Sundowns Midfield is the most competitive one in the country. It's going to be very difficult for him to break into that starting 11. You know, plays have come, plays have gone. And, uh, you know, it, it just follows script that, you know, they do pick <laughs> the cream of the crop from yeah. Super Sport uh, United, uh, of course. Um, but, you know, you look at Grand Marjuman going the other way. And I really wonder if Maseko consulted uh, Marjuman, you know, like, because he, he was in the same um, position. Yeah. And, uh, you know, him, uh, Super Sport and Lovu yeah. uh, and Maseko, they, they had a very strong midfield, Super Sport, you know. Yeah. And now, um, with um, Maseko making well, the move to, to Sundowns, yeah. he's probably going to play on the bench. Uh, maybe just train with, with those players, you know, they have looked abroad. You look at the Brazilian mm. player joining Sundown's team, there's South American players over there. I'm not really sure if he's going to get game time. Um, for me, I think he should have stayed at Super Sport, but I'm excited to see what happens. And if he can break into that Sundown's team, he, he might as well play for Bavana. Mm. And he, he did call, get a call up from coach Hugo Bruce. Mm. So basically, you mean he was supposed to stay at Super Sport or go to Belgium? Mm. That's what you're saying. I think he would have, uh, for me personally, I would have wanted him to stay in the PSL because Supersport have CAF uh, football. You know, if he demonstrated his ability on continental football, mm. then that would have shown all the suitors. You know, Belgium, there could have been another club in Belgium following him. Mm. Um, and I, I thought that the better move would have been to stay in Supersport, play in CAF uh, Champions League and see what happens there. Okay. Uh, still, Talking about Super Sports United, Terence Zukamanja, everyone uh, never saw that coming yeah. that he might leave Orlando Pirates. Yes, his contract was going to expire eventually, but Orlando Pirates were negotiating with him. They even included the player in their CAF uh, squad. Mm. What's happening there? Do you think maybe he felt like, ah, I had enough with Orlando Pirates? Mm. I really don't know what happened there because um, Jose Rivero gave him that central striking, but you know, he earned it. Zakashle Lapasa was uh, was loaned out and Zukomanja had the, the central striking, but you know, he's got nine goal involvements in 14 league appearances for Lando Pirates this past season. Um, you know, he's, he's linked up really well with Saleng, uh, Erasmus um, and, Lamini. and Lamini, you know. And you know, you mentioned Lamini, but other players have also tried to um, secure that striking but for Pirates and it just hasn't worked out. You look at uh, Mabasa, um, there's uh, Dean Hotto, Kwame uh, Pepper, um, uh, Eva Nga, you yeah. know, they haven't taken it from um, Zuka Manja. So I think he should have stayed. I think that he was very much part of um, the head coach's plans. You know, yeah. there's two two silverware to his uh, to his name, now two pieces of silverware, yeah. that being the MTN, MTN 8 and okay. the Netbank Cup. Um, so I thought CAF Champions League, they were, they were up for it because they did reach the final not that long ago. Yeah. So. Don't you think because uh, his relationship with Zukamanja with the Orlando Pirates fans was not like the sweetest one? Mm. The fans used to pull him. Don't you think that maybe that's one of the things that motivated him to say, let me just leave the club and go to join Super Sport? Because he even came out to say, I was even receiving some death threats mm. from the supporters. Well, look, it, you are looking at one of the country's biggest clubs. You know, they are in the top three and they do have a large supporter base. But, you know, for me personally, I think he played through that because, like I said, nine goal involvements in 14 league appearances that tells me that he's getting the business done on the pitch. And I'm sure they would have, he would have earned him some fans, you know, gained that goodwill with the, with the club supporter base because we know that it is vast. You know, every part of the country, you can find an Orlando Pirates supporters club. 
Um, and you know they they get behind the, the the Buccaneers. You know the Buccaneers really come out and show their support. Um, you know obviously being a striker, it comes with a lot of pressure because you are required to deliver. And um, I think he was doing that, but maybe as you said, he might have had enough. His decision might have been made up, and I'm sure Gavin Hunt would have sweetened the deal, um, having shown what he can do with another striker in the passer, yeah. what he can offer to Kamanja. And they, and they worked before it beat the Vets. Uh, Vets. Yeah. Yeah. What does this loss mean to Orlando Pirates? Losing a key player like that, mm. knowing that uh, this is the man that you know that when he, he comes off the bench or he comes in, yeah. definitely he will give you a goal. Mm. Yeah, look, I think it definitely will be a loss. Um, but, you know, they are reinforced in that striking berth. You know, they do have options. I think um, Riviera would have tried to keep him. Um, obviously, having worked with him, like, in this season. Um, and, you know, he has he has delivered on the pitch. Um, I think it's it's going to be a, a difficult blow. But, you know, the preseason is still on. They are working with La Passa as well. You know, you are talking about the country's striker as well. You know, it's not much of a downgrade in terms of that. Because La Passa was being picked by Hugo Bruce, um, even though he was on loan. Yeah. You know, the, the national coach uh, has, has said, I don't really care what's happening uh, domestically. You are the striker for the national team. And, you know, he did score um, against Morocco, mm. which is, I mean, look, the World Cup semi-finalists. Yeah. Um, so that, that goes to show that uh, La Passa, he is the man for um, the stage. And, you know, best case scenario, the pastor has an excellent career at uh, Pirates yeah. and Zucumanja has an excellent career at Supersport. Yeah. I think everybody wins. Okay. Still about uh, Orlando Pirates. Uh, according to reports, Orlando Pirates are the favourites to get the signature of Lise Di Capina. I asked uh, Geba before, does Orlando Pirates need Lise Di Capina? I want to hear your opinion <laughs> about that. But look, it can't really hurt the squad to have a player of his um, calibre with them. But for me, there's players in the Disky uh, challenge, which I think that they could uh, look to as well. You know, they, they have got tons of um, players. You know, you look at uh, Lodge still being with them, um, uh, Lamini as well. And uh, this Ramotobo has just been delivered. And, uh, you know, you wonder if that will sort of hinder the club's progression um, internally. Um, Lasseri Kapinga obviously played in the uh, Hollywood Betsko Safa Cup. Yeah. Uh, we did have a, a fairly good tournament as the the, the team uh, finished with the bronze medal and mm. you know he played uh, I think almost every game mm. so um, for me again you're looking at possibly a future Pafana player mm. uh, but um, yeah I think if, if you can if you can cut it at Pirates then the sky's the limit for him you know what I mean by that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah we're still talking about the transfer news uh, still like a long way to go before the window closes yeah which team do you think hey, they're not doing good enough business to sign players which team do you think believe do you, do you think that they still need to sign more players for the coming season well look the first thing that jumps out to me is super sport united you know you did men mention Jukka Manja, but that's literally one player and that's a like for like placement because La Passa is going the opposite way mm. um, but you know the the, the the team has qualified for uh, the CAF, CAF Confederations Cup, Cup which yeah. means that there's going to be travel involved uh, you look at the current strike force with Bradley Krobola, the man is not getting any younger. You know, he mm -hmm. uh, no disrespect to him, but you know, he's, he's, his age is not the striker he once was and would travel. I'm not sure how it's going to affect his performances on the pitch. You know, he sustained a long-term injury, mm -hmm. uh, in the, not this past season, this, the previous season. And, uh, you know, he did come back and he broke into that 100 PSL uh, goal mm -hmm. mark. So, you know, caps off to him, but um, they really need to do a lot more business. Um, I know they have secured Marshman. But, um, you know, they need some, some more signings. And I'm not sure if they've left it a bit too late because preseason has begun. Mm. I think Washington and Ruby has signed for yeah, them. Yeah, signed for them. In, yeah. in the goalkeeping department. But they need um, a lot more. And they're also linked with yeah, Icaro from Sundance, Sundance yeah. on loan. Yeah, well, that's that's a really, really good signing. You know, he has shown that he can deliver goals in uh, a team that maybe doesn't create uh, enough chances, if you ask me. 10 goals in 24 league appearances for Chippa United. That's an exceptional return for a lone player. I believe it was just under 40% of Chippa's goals come from one player. So, you know, he's put his, his hand up. And uh, if he earns the move to, to Super Sport, even on loan, and does his um, uh, business abroad, you know, on, on duty uh, in CAF Confederations Cup, I'm sure um, there could be a, a bigger move for him. You, you know, 
when we're talking about which teams that needs to sign more players, mm. my concern comes uh, to uh, Cape Town Spurs and uh, Pulwane City. Those are the teams that they seem like they quiet with their business. Mm. Yes, uh, there are players that they've signed, but I think they need more players in order to survive. Look at how Richards Bay, uh, what they did uh, mm. when they got pro promoted. They signed players to make sure that they stay in the they league. secure the status. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think those teams, they also need to bring in more players? Uh, remember, there are players who are free agents, like yeah. your Ralani, you know? Well, look, I hope they sign somebody and quickly. I'm sure that they're working on it. Because if you look at um, Sean Bartlett's team, Cape Town, Cape Town Spurs, that squad is very old. You're looking at majority of the starting Michael lineup. Michael Yeah, they're, they're 30 Thomas. plus. You know, they've yeah. got years and years of PSL experience. I'm not sure if that's what he's banking on. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you get one injury in like your your defensive lineup. Uh, and then, you you know, who's you looking at your bench now? Is it strong enough? Mm. Kind of player? Do you have a like-for-like -like player for that? Um, is there any depth? You know, you mentioned Richards Bay and what they did. And they they were second for like majority of the season. Exactly. Now. And then, you know, the, the uh, or rather, I should say, the first half of the season, yeah. they, were, they were chasing Sundowns. And then the second half of the season, they fell off, but they had accumulated sufficient points to remain in a PSL. I'm not sure if, if Cape Town Spurs are currently in a good enough position to say that um, they're going to survive, um, but I'm sure that they are working on some deals that could be announced before the window shuts. Maybe the last week um, or two, or even for Polyquane City, I'm sure they may be waiting for all the um, bigger clubs per se to make their moves and then look yeah. at who's available, who does the manager want and see where they can strike some business. Uh, talking about the players who are free agents, uh, Thompson Kabuza, he worked with coach Gaetano Tembo before at Super Sports United. Mm -hmm. He's linked with Richards Bay. Do you think that will be a good move for him? Look, I think Gavin Ancho try and retain Kabuza services because he did um, step up when he was called. I think um, he played 18 times for uh, Super Sport in the DSTV uh, Premiership last season, which tells me that you know he knows the players, he links up well with them, and he could be a second striker or third option. You know, mm. um, if if they if they do uh, not sign anybody else, then you know they would maybe try and persuade him to stay because, like I said, the, the CAF Confederations Cup. You know, to play in Africa, it really is um, you know continental football. You want to say you did your 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 business on on the. The, the African stage, no, yeah. um, no disrespect to those other clubs, but they don't have um, calf football under them, you know. And I think SuperSport right now, the way the club is going, I think it's a better fit because um, you look at, um, you know, even the CEO, Stanley Matthews, the club is run really well. You know, they do business with a lot of high-profile clubs, a lot of European clubs. Um, and I think that there is a, there's a good energy about that that team. And I'm not sure if it's going to be the same at, um, Richards, at Bay. Richards Bay, yeah. Mm. Eric Matoho, he failed uh, the trials, and according to reports. Yeah. He failed the trials uh, at Super Sports United. Which team do you think will be a better suit for him? Looking at his age, his experience, mm. which team do you think you, you well, can advise that he is the player that can help you? I think he can put um, well into the sun, uh, uh, the Solos um, setup. Yeah. Set yeah, you know, Steve Compella. Uh, joining <clears throat> joining them just like, I think it was the last week or the week before that, mm. um, was a shock announcement to me. It took me by surprise because Musa Diyama apparently was heavily linked with the, with the job and uh, potentially even offered it on Robert Marawa's um, uh, uh, interview. E exactly with them. So, um, you know, there was that. But, and then they, they paired that up with uh, Adile Jali, you know, mm. obviously him coming from uh, Sundowns as well, following Campella. Maybe he's trying to get some experience, uh, you know, an experienced central defender an experienced midfielder, an experienced attacker, um, and you know, with a coach like Compella as well, lots of experience over there. Maybe that is the project that they're trying to build, um, and I hope it works out for him. Well, we close it there from Mina O Ayanda Vezi and Utesh Patab. But don't forget to also subscribe on our, on our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed. Please follow us on our social media pages, Soccer Betting News on Facebook. On Twitter, we are SBN underscore ZA. If you want to follow me on my personal account on Twitter, I am Ayanda Kazulu. On Facebook, I am Ayanda Kazulu Ndabezita. Until next time, cheers. We're out. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch or news agent. <laughs>